Welcome back everyone to another episode of Sky Terran 2 Grandmaster. This episode we're going to be starting with 5356 MMR. We currently do not have enough games to be eligible for Grandmaster, but just so you guys know, we are almost top 50 MMR. Can we reach it today? Let's find out. Alright, first opponent is going to be Ghost Hydra. A little bit of a Terran Zerg player mix, I suppose. Maybe he'll be extra good against Sky Terran because it's a hidden Terran player. Now, I actually want to be a little bit crazy this uh, this episode. I feel like, you know, I have figured out which patterns are good. We go for the Viking Liberator later into the BCs. We love to play Speed Dances, which is really good. But I would just like to switch it up a little bit, go for some different openers. I'm actually going to try and see if I can get away with playing CC first. Now, the reason why CC first is crazy, normally it's a good build, by the way. If you don't want to play CC first against Zerg, it's perfectly fine. But I'm not allowed to make any factor units, which is going to be, you know, if we're going to get all in, reactively uh, which some zergs like to do that's going to be a bit scary but i just like to experiment a little bit more maybe it'll give, give us the economic boost that we need to get our 5cc setup up a little bit earlier and we'll see now this is a map i like i i think uh, actually the last episode we played at tvz on this map and it's just it's very easy to secure your base it's really hard to attack we have rocks protecting us we have really nice chokes like this so getting into a macro game in here is going to be really nice now one thing that might be a little bit too crazy, but I'm very tempted to try, is what if I sneak one of those rich Vaspian gas bases so we can actually get our Sky Terran going even stronger. It sounds a little bit absurd, and I'm afraid we're going to get caught, but maybe it's just the right thing to try. I always like playing, uh, you know, stuff that like stuff like hidden bases. It's kind of hard to explain. If it works out it's amazing most of the time it doesn't and that's why people are scared of it but logically hidden bases should be something that are used more and those are the kind of builds i like to bring forward a little bit you know styles that aren't used as much as they should be little moves like hidden bases that aren't used as much as they should be so maybe this is the perfect time to bring it out though our first mission is gonna have to be scouting the overlord and the not wait he's actually zerg right okay sometimes i get a bit tricked by the names there i remember his name was ghost hydra uh, but we're gonna have to scout the overlord and then move our SCV out now i think i'm not quite sure what video that was in oh we're actually being cheesed a little bit um this is perfect this is actually a blind counter for oh no we're getting cheesed even harder looks like um yeah this is a pretty much if it's not an all-in this is going to be a really hard build order win for us. And I know that might sound crazy, but CC first is a super hard counter to uh, pull first shenanigans. We're just going to be insanely far ahead. The only thing he can do from here is try a desperate all-in um, to get back into the game. Yeah, he even went for 100 gas. We're going to be massively, massively ahead from this without exaggeration. Now, can I... No, I'm actually not going to do it. It's taking too much damage. I was thinking about letting that orbital finish, but that's probably a little bit too crazy. Now, he did see my SCV leave. Is he going to expect me to... Actually, I'm actually going to take this one instead. Is he going to expect me to take a hidden base here, though? I doubt it. Um, even if this was a pool first without gas, we would be really far ahead. But he actually went for speed. Oh, the overlord... See what is that overlord... What are you checking for? Oh my goodness, 500 IQ Zerg player, I guess. What the hell is that overlord checking for? Well, I guess my hidden base dreams are gone. He is taking a third base himself. And because we scouted by clicking on the gas, if you guys didn't know, you can do that. You see remaining here. You can tell how much gas was mined. He mined exactly 100 gas and nothing more. So I know that he went for speed uh, and didn't make anything else. Now, the problem here for us is that we cannot make Hellions. If we were able to make Hellions here, it would actually be a pretty straightforward game, I would even say. But we're not allowed to do that, so I'm going to have to try and just leapfrog down slowly with bunkers. I think I'm going to go battlecruisers. Battlecruisers are actually pretty decent in response to early cheeses. If you're ahead, they might not have as many queens as they need. Luckily, I did have enough marines for that. I did scout that he stopped making units, so that's really nice. I'm actually going to make a little bit of a weird wall-off by building bunkers here instead. Uh, and then I'm just going to go for battle cruisers. Third CC, dude, I'm really tempted to make... The it's so stupid. What if I make it here instead? Okay, this is going to be the craziest move ever. He scouted me with an overlord. I'm going to make a CC there. And then fly it over and make a planetary. And hope to stabilize that way. If this works... I will probably think I'm a little bit of a genius. In reality, it's just like a silly gamble that's going to work. But I will feel amazing if it works. I'm just going to go for it. Because I, I think it's it's possible for him to just send a Zergling there to scout. He saw the SCV go up. He saw the SCV there. It looked very suspicious, right? To be honest, I, if he wasn't suspicious, I would be surprised. So sending a Zergling there at any point would make sense. There, oh, he's making drones and a gas on the third base. That is a little bit of a tell. Not quite sure what that gas is supposed to be for. 
I guess it could really be for anything at this point. It could be... Yeah, roaches, mutalisks. I have no idea. And meanwhile, I'm just trying to get my CC up there. His links were moving to the north, which is very scary. I'm gonna get an early engineering bay. Just so I can make this into a planetary fortress. And then we're gonna add a couple star ports. I might actually have to do a scan here. Uh, one thing you have to be really careful with if you play Battlecruisers, by the way. Is you cannot teleport it across when there's either Roaches or, or a Spire already done. If there's Roaches on the field, what they can do is simply move the Roaches across after you teleport your Battlecruiser in. And you will not have another one ready in time. And the Roaches will just kind of own you. Unless you're playing Marine Tank Roach for some reason. Or Marine Tank Banshee, sorry. Or Battlecruiser. Now, let me scan his base. Yeah, oh, there's... Just... Well, he doesn't have a lair, but he doesn't have a spore. This could either be brilliant, or we could lose the game right away. Uh, if there's Mutalisks being built, or Corruptors, it's going to be very scary. But we're going to be able to do so much damage. He types lol. A-move race. Well, actually, you don't even have to A-move a Battlecruiser. It shoots while move commanding, so I'm actually a move command race. Uh, I do think it's funny. He's complaining about this scale of all things. He opened with a cheese and uh, got completely blind countered, pretty much. He made 11 bailings for absolutely no reason. Yeah, I'm afraid Ghost Hydra, you know, if the wine is appropriate, I can deal with it. But in this case, I think just a severe case of misplay on the Zerg side. Uh, no scouting and all. Making bailings against the guy who has literally five Marines and nothing else. No scouting being done. And I'm both happy and sad at the same time because it looked like this hidden base was going to work. But we didn't get to use it, which is unfortunate. But anyway, a nice warm-up game. Let's keep it going. Micromancer, a Grandmaster Terran. Actually, that's a cool portrait. I like to use that one. I think it is the 10-year Terran portrait. No, no idea how you get it if you guys are curious, but uh, I do like to use that portrait. Now we're playing on a little bit of a smaller map. Inside and out. Really good for tank pushes. Has a lot of annoying positions. I can actually show you guys them here. Um, like, especially if you take the third base in the triangle, a siege tank here is very annoying. And I think similarly on the other side, you have positions like this behind those pillars where any kind of tank positioning and tank push is always very painful. Air control, however, is very good on this map, which is important for us, of course, because what are we without our air control? Quite literally nothing, I'm afraid. So that's what I'm going to go for. Uh, probably going to have to be using Banshees. Like I said, it's a small map. I cannot really risk doing something like early battle cruisers because then I would most likely, um, yeah, die right away before I get there because it's a small map. Though we do still need to sniff out our opponent's build. There's a lot of things that are very tricky for the Sky Terran 2 GM challenge. First thing I can think of is, for example, a Turex Reaper. Like, if I'm sitting here making Marines, trying to take my expansion, you know, and three Reapers jump in when I have one Reaper and two Marines, I'm not going to be very excited, I can tell you guys that much. Though, luckily, we haven't ran into Turex Reaper yet. We actually have ran into a decent amount of Reaper Heli Impressors, which we were able to repel. Even though on paper they should be destroying us, so who knows, maybe we can actually deal with everything. I, I do have to say, I'm actually quite surprised how high MMR we are for the rules of the challenge. Because I haven't made any factory units, but yet, you know, we still have reached uh, that beautiful Grandmaster MMR, which is, uh, you know, very, very pleasant to see. And even pretty high up in Grandmaster too. There's a very suspicious SCV going out at a timing when an SCV really should not be going out. So let's keep that in mind. There's double gas. Factory. That's a depot. Okay, we're definitely being memed a little bit. His build makes absolutely zero sense. Uh, I can tell you guys that already. Uh, and that sucks for us because I'm not quite sure what we would do against it. Not quite sure what is proxied though. Uh, there's an SCV coming from here. Could probably just a scout if I had to guess. Um, but his build still does not look quite right to me. I could send the Reaper across, but that's very, very dangerous in this case. Maybe we're just going to go for a high ground expand. Hope we can defend whatever he is throwing at us from the high ground with our high ground advantage. Still going to scout around a little bit, though. Uh, in particular, both his, de his depot was late and there was no barracks and no factory being built in his base. So it just looked very empty to me. And that's why I'm a little bit afraid. Nothing showing up at my door yet, which is really pleasant. Let's just get that command center up here. It does feel really weird to play double gas and high ground command center. But if you're not allowed to make Hellions, the Hellions is a real key uh, component to defending early game TVT attacks. So is a Cyclone, for example. So not having those is making me just a little bit more cautious. Let's get a depot here as well, just for vision. Did I see something on the minimap there? I'm not quite sure if I did. 
Uh, there is a CC being built, so at least he's not doing anything absurd. Okay. Yeah, I think he's just playing normal, but for some reason his depot was just a bit delayed. Maybe because he sent out an SCV to scout, but I guess so did I, so that doesn't really make any sense. I guess we'll figure out later exactly what he did. So far it looks like he probably just made a mistake in the build order and that's it. Uh, this is actually one of the hardest things in the game to scout. I told this to my coaching student the other day. Um... Especially like the lower MMR you are, but as you can see, even in Grandmaster, sometimes you have to wonder, is my opponent doing something weird or is it built just bad? <laughs> it's a pretty hard thing to distinguish sometimes, guys. Let me tell you, let me tell you that. I'm actually going to put my factory there just so I can block it a little bit. Let's see what's going on. Reactor. Ooh, this actually looks like it could be a tank drop. Tank drop is definitely scary for my build, guys. I do not have any Vikings available. I'm going to quickly try to get a reactor on that. Did miss rally a few SCVs as well, which is unfortunate. Mm, yeah, tank drop is going to be hard to deal with. I'm going to have to use my um, yeah banshees to perfect effect. Cyclones also going to be pretty scary. The reason why I say it's a tank drop is because there's no add-on on the starport. Making a viking that early or a liberator is very uncommon. So it's most likely a medevac. Doesn't necessarily have to drop tanks, but that is the most likely scenario here. So that's what I'm going to be preparing for. Um, I mean, there's not that much I can do. I could actually counterattack with a Banshee. But then I would probably surrender my base at the same time. And can a Banshee really do as much damage as, uh, you know, pretty much his entire army? Kind of doubt it. Okay, so there's a Medivac here. Um, it has a Cyclone. Oh, no. This is the most random drop ever, but I can't deal with it. That's unfortunate. I'm going to have to pull SCVs for this one. Got a good amount of damage there. Uh, there's Reapers here, which I'll just run away from temporarily. And I think we've done a good job at surviving, at least. And she go here. I did lose a depot, though, which is going to put me a little bit behind. Let's see. I'm not going to be able to kill that medevac. That's unfortunate. But I'll be able to do enough damage for now. That second is 1 HP. That's really unfortunate. Okay, let's see how good his micro is. I do have cloak as well. If he scans for this, it's just a waste of money for him. So I think right now we're pretty safe. Oh, I forgot to put my SCVs back. That's a pretty big oversight. Oh, if you want to do that, sure. <laughs> like I said, a complete waste of money. And he's going to lose the medevac. That is fantastic. Oh, no, he, he didn't use his boost. Okay. For some reason, I thought he used his boost. That's my bad. Uh, but at least he brought the game a little bit back to our favor by scanning. Um, but yeah, definitely going to be a bit behind. Good build by him. Pretty good micro as well. Shouldn't have lost the cyclone. But besides that, it was good execution. So well done to... What is his name? Micromancer. Yeah, it's in the name. Makes sense that he microed that decently, right? I guess at least if you name yourself Micromancer, you better show up a little bit at least. That is what I'm thinking. Now let me just split up my units so the medevac does not get into my base when I don't want it to. Um, I could decide to make a raven here. Keep in mind I killed his cyclone, so his anti-air defense... I made a turret, okay. Another really good thing for us, guys. Um... Yeah, making eBay to make turrets is not something you do early game TVT. It's simply too expensive. Now in this case... It's a little bit questionable, because if he's going to make turrets later on, realizing I'm playing Sky Terran, then it's going to be quite good. If he's only going to keep it with those turrets, uh, probably I imagine he made one in the main and one there, then it's actually pretty good for us. Because like I said, it's just too much invested into defense. Um, in TVT, you're supposed to just make a raven. A raven counters everything, and then you can deal with cloak that way, making it turrets. It's probably, yeah, what did he make? 325 minerals, assuming he made one eBay plus uh, two turrets, so... Not going to complain about that. Now, obviously, we still need to get damage done somehow. I actually quite literally don't have units left besides Sky there. Oh, well, I have one Marine in the bunker. Uh, but that's quite literally it. You see, I'm F2-ing, and these are all the units I have. Only air units. I'm really sad that speed takes so long. That's probably been the thing that has annoyed me the most in this series. Banshee speed takes way too long for how underused it is. Um, and that's, you know... Is this going to make more... Oh, yeah, okay. He knows who we are, 100%, I think. Uh, else he would not be playing like this. Another scan, though, which is nice. He's making Widowmine. Is he playing Cyclone Widowmine? That's my style. You thief. No, just kidding. You guys are also free to play my styles, of course. I'm just kidding. Uh, but yeah, this is going to be a little bit harder, especially the Widowmines, I think. Cyclone... Oh, I actually misclicked a lot there. Not quite sure what I did. Yeah, my SCVs are doing absolutely nothing at the moment. Um, Cyclone Widowmine is, you know, I can outplay the Cyclones by being fast. The Widow Mines, however, they're just going to be buried and probably going to be very hard to deal with for me. But I guess we'll see. The turrets as well are going to be quite scary. Um, hmm. I'm trying to think of a solution, but it's going to be a very hard one. I can't put it any other way. This style is very good. It's really interesting to see how people are countering me, by the way, because we've 
Yeah, exactly. That's what I mean. Just the Widowmine doing so much damage. Um, last episode, we played against someone making Thors. Now we're playing against Cyclone Widowmine. Really enjoying, you know, just to see which answers people are going for. I think I'm actually going to go for Liberators to counter it. Yeah, there's another one. Let me just one-tap that real quick. There we go. And he's making mass turrets. Yeah, he 100% knows who he's up against. There's no doubt about it at this point. Um, oh, you have to be very careful. Cloak these. Oh, what, I, what did I click that they didn't cloak? Makes absolutely no sense. Another scan. And he has Magfield, so I need to be very careful. There we go. Uh, really sucks that initial engagement went so much into his favor. I don't know if I have enough to actually kill him here anymore. I guess we're just... Oh, he's not here. Oh, we got the Raven. That's beautiful. I don't know how many scans he has. I need a... F oh, I made another command center? Okay. That's... Wait, when did I actually build that? Was that intentional? I'm, I'm asking not because it's bad, but because I don't remember building it. Uh, I mean... I guess it works out pretty well for us. There's just a little bit of eco. I guess it doesn't hurt anyone. Really don't remember building it. That's why I'm confused. Uh, yeah. Well, I really like his answer, guys. I'm kind of locked right now in my thoughts. My brain is working overtime to find an answer to this. I think it also would make sense for me to get servos. Not drilling class. Get freaking servos this time. Please, Mark, you can do it. And uh, Just because else these Vikings are going to be giga useless. There's no... Sorry, Vikings. There's no other way to put it. Does he have a scan? Oh, he does have a scan. Probably not going to kill that much. Really nice here for us that um, Banshees are not armored. So they actually do not take extra damage from the Mac field. In case you guys didn't know, the Cyclone laser upgrade only helps against armored targets. So Vikings get absolutely obliterated. Banshees, they get obliterated at normal speed. They're definitely not great against Cyclones, but they, they get obliterated at normal speed, which is nice. And should I get my lip range or not? Cyclone Vitamine... It does have 1-1. One, one. I guess the upgrades probably don't matter, to be honest. Uh, at least I don't think they do. I'm gonna move out just with my Raven. Let's get my Servos. I wouldn't be surprised if he just has like a, a million mines burrowed somewhere. Waiting for for my clump of uh, of units, basically. Oh, nice. There's a free units. Here we go. And yeah, anything we can pick off, I'm gonna be very, very happy with, to be honest. Because if we don't get those pickoffs, it's just gonna be super hard to do anything. Let's see if I can find some more. There's undoubtedly a bunch of Widomites scattered on the map. So I need to be very careful for those. I, think I, can, I wonder if I can do this and just move the Raven around. I'm not sure if my Banshees actually kill the mines fast enough in that case. Let's see, Sensor Tower. Boom. Okay, that was pretty nice. Um, should we get some Liberators going? What is he going to make now? Thors? Or is he just... Ma I think Mass Cyclone Widomite is probably the best option. Uh, especially because it kind of blocks me from going into battle cruiser. Cyclones also destroy BCs. Oh, there's a... I think I move commanded on accident. That's unfortunate. Oh. Gonna run away from that. Actually, I have enough units to kill this. We're just gonna go for this. 100%. Let me kill all of these. There we go. Scan ran out to... Oh, yeah. So we got all the, all the freaking Cyclones. And the rest of his army, too. Okay, that is the fight we needed. He was too confident in his Cyclones. And now he has been brutally punished by a flock of Speed Vanches, which is insane. Oh. oh, let me just kill these. He's going a little bit too deep with those. Oh, he does have a Thor now. Thors are very good. Um, I think I'm actually going to start a round of Battlecruisers now. I feel like we might be safe enough. Because we just destroyed his army. Maybe he's going to take it a little bit more careful. I'm definitely going to repair those up. Liberators are also a good option, by the way. I'm kind of... Hmm, which one should I go for? I definitely need a second armory here. Uh, so I can actually get armor upgrades. Let's see. He's still at home. He has really good upgrades, by the way. 2-1. And for the Cyclones, it doesn't matter. Cyclones, honestly, they're made out of paper anyway. They die to whatever attacks them, whatever tickles them. They're dead. But if the Thors have 3 2, oh my, I'm not going to be happy with that. I can tell you guys that much. That's going to be a little bit of a rough awakening. Um... I also can't really build base defenses. Like, Planetary just gets sniped by everything he has. Both Thors and Cyclones destroy PS. In case you guys didn't know, um, Thors actually outrange Planetaries. So, yeah. Not that much you can do about it, really. Uh, let's see. I could, I could snipe a Thor. It's really YOLO, by the way. I could totally snipe a Thor. There we go. Did I get anything? Ooh. Oh, oh that hurt. Never again. Okay. Let's see. Is he going to move out? I don't think so. I could also use my Vikings to land into the main... Wait, did I get... Oh, I got servos in the drilling claws. Let's freaking go. We did it, guys. For the long-time watchers, you guys know this is a big achievement for us. Let's freaking go. We didn't get drilling claws this time. That's insane. Beautiful. 
Um, now, I guess I should probably be hiding these batter cruisers. Get Yamato on them. I'm gonna cancel one so I can actually get upgrades. It's a good time for a sensor tower, maybe like here or so. Get some turrets up. Maybe another sensor tower on this side to get the gases. I can actually go up to a lot of workers. Um, because my army takes so long to build. I really don't think it's a big deal. Ooh. Okay. This looks like a counter-attackable army. I can actually siege two liberators here. So he's going for... Let's see. I'm just gonna kill it through the mine. Frick it. Here we go. Actually, it was a really good trade somehow. <laughs> I didn't expect that to be a good trade, but it really was. Oh, he's, his units are a bit faster than I expected. I always feel like speed benches are super fast, but then they're actually just... They just look fast because they're normally slow, I think. That's kind of what happens. Like, look how his units are just catching up to mine. I'm actually going to snipe a few of these anyway. Okay, he's going to trade a few Cyclones for them. Uh, I should have lost those for free, but I killed three Cyclones, which is pretty nice. Now, I oh, I didn't get my Yamato yet. That is rough. I'm definitely going to need that Yamato. I'm just going to be spamming some command centers. Let's see, he's not moving out yet. I have seven BCs already, which is a really good number. Probably should get some more Liberators, I think. Liberators feel very useful. Now, this is definitely a, a really proper Sky Terran game where we're trying to, uh, you know, get a little bit of everything because everything is necessary here. I think maybe I'll actually get the range just in case. I have enough money at this point. We're kind of maxing out, so, you know. Let's see. Oh, he found us. Let's see. He did kill my freaking sensor tower. That's kind of annoying. Yamato, yeah, that's going to take way too long. That's unfortunate. But it is what it is. And I should be able to kill a lot of these bases here. Oh, he's gonna come... Okay, he's F2-ing back. That's nice. That's good. Because his army could have actually done a little damage. Instead, he's gonna come back. And I'm just gonna teleport out at some point. So, it doesn't really matter. It sucks I don't have Yamato here. Uh, this is, for example, it's a mistake what he's doing by sending these Thors. But actually, no, it's enough Thors at that point. But I just don't have enough to really kill anything. Oh, he even went for the Interference Matrixes. Didn't expect that. Normally, they don't they don't risk it to do that because you can just teleport out. But uh, he did, and he cut two of my BCs, which is rough. Definitely think I can use more and more uh, Liberators as well. Maybe it's time for me to sacrifice some of... Wait, where are all these SCVs AFK? Oh, they were repairing. Okay. Uh, maybe it's time to... What was I going to say? I actually don't remember what I was going to say. My bad. <laughs> I feel like that happens every, like, five episodes or so. Uh, but more laborers will probably do pretty good for me here. Let's see. Okay. Oh, those battle crews are going to go ham. The Liberator is also doing fantastic here, by the way. Very nice. Okay, let's see. Oh, he's not going to expect this. Guys, the Liberator... Oh, no, I don't have enough Vikings left, I think. It's risky. The Vikings are going to do so much damage, though. The Vikings are going to go absolutely ham on these stores, and the BCs are still chasing as well. He's doing a really good job microing, by the way. Applause for him. Look, he almost got every single BC. He's going to lose every Thor for it, though. Holy crap, what a fight this was, guys. That was insane. He, he, he's going for the BC, but he's going to lose the last four units for it as well. And oh my good, did we win that fight? Did we lose? I, <laughs> I actually don't really know. That was an absolutely brutal fight. I don't know. There is a few Widow Mines left. Yeah, I only have one Liberator here. Let's try to siege those. Yeah, Lib Liberators are going to do fantastic. If I can keep him in his base, that might actually be a game-winning move. Hey, okay, can I get that one? No, couldn't quite get it. Oh, really good move on the auto turret there, actually. Wait, did I... Oh, there's no range on these. Oh, no, guys. It's a disaster. Please, how did that not hit? How did the second BC not get in range? That's a scam. Now, I was wondering, how are these, how are these Thors are having such an easy time? But I forgot my range. That's very rough. See. Oh, we're going to kill two mines here. That's nice. Um, yeah, I'm actually going to run away from this. This does not seem like a fight I want to be a part of, to be honest. Let's get out of here. Oh, might kill the raven who's not paying attention. Yeah, there we go. We take those. Now, let's try to saturate the base over here. We go get an orbital. Probably get Liberator Viking instead of BC. I think I have enough BCs, right? Where's the other starports? Yeah, I'm going to cancel these, you know? It's going to be a little bit brave to cancel something in production for that long. But it might be the right idea. Because it really feels like the Liberators, at least once I get range, sucks that I forgot that for a bit. Um, once I get re range, those are going to be super, super good for me. Uh, wait, there's a mine there shooting my freaking... What's that supposed to be? Okay, well, I'm going to go for a counterattack with these BCs. I do need a few more Liberators to actually make an attack like this happen. Um... Actually, I can just teleport on it, I think, because his army is so far away. And it doesn't seem like he's making Cyclones. 
And I have a bunch of Yamatos available too. Like with, with Yamatos, I can actually kill, you know, six Cyclones with this army instantly. And he can't actually get close to me. Yeah, I think this was a really good move here. Let's see if we can... Oh, we can actually repair that base too. You gonna go for the army? No, he's not. Or for the base, I was gonna ask. See, there's still a mine here. I would love to kill that Widow Mine. Let's saturate these gases. Kill these turrets over here. And he's gonna come with the, the Cyclones, but those are just gonna die instantly, I believe. Here we go. I do not have teleport, though. I need to keep that in mind. Oh, I killed so many units with these. But the Thors are not gonna be able to catch up. Wow. What a battle here, guys. No, I'm not gonna go for that. That's a little bit too much, I think. I would love to kill the planetary, but that's probably a little bit too brave. So we're just gonna go ahead and escape here. Oh, he actually does have another Thor flank. So might lose a few more of these, but that's okay. Actually got three alive, which is pretty good. And now I have an army of liberators uh, that I can just use to get this area saved up. He should not really not fight in that with his Thors. He's gonna be very sad if he tries that, for sure. Actually gonna siege a few more libs. Oh, those are very far forward. I do have my yeah, I do have my range now. That's a really bad mistake by me to have those so far forward, actually. Yeah, this is such a good trade for us. This is beautiful, guys. Let's go. Okay, this could have been very bad, but instead it ended up being pretty good. He did kill quite a bunch of those libs. So it's not like it's all uh glory, but I still feel like in the end it was good enough. My supply feels pretty low, actually. I guess th this game really has been incredible with all the trades and stuff, for sure. Well, I can actually drop a little bit of a mule hammer here, try to mine out his base before he gets the chance. That would be nice. He's still standing there. I think even liberators like this are going to be pretty annoying to deal with. There we go. Let's get those seeds up there. Let's see what he has here. Um, actually, I think I'm just going to YOLO this one. Like the... the ooh. Oh, no. This is gonna be a rough one, guys. Please don't Matrix. Okay, well, I got one off. Could have been worse. Gonna lose one BC for that. Definitely could have been worse. Oh, and these Liberators are just doing insane. I'm actually gonna be able to keep these alive for a bit. He's gonna mine from the CC. I don't mind losing it because I have so many, to be fair. Like, it's really not uh, that big of a deal for me. I could even use these to go into the main. Okay, let's try to go to the left base. I still think he would be better off making mass cyclones and trying to roam the map than these Thors. But I do have to say the 3-3 Thors are doing pretty fantastic. How many turrets did he build? His 6 turret just chilling in his main base. That's insane. Okay. Let's see. And probably, if he doesn't pay attention here, I could actually mess him up pretty good. He's gonna go for it. Wow, okay. Pretty crazy. Uh, I'm gonna kill... Let's see... Do I have an... Oh, he does have actually have a lot of Thors. Hmm. I think I might have seized a little bit too far forward. And now... Oh, I did actually kill that Thor in his main. That's nice. Let's see. Yeah. I think I actually was a little bit too confident there. And for some reason, I don't have a lot of gas. I feel like I might be uh, missing out on some gases here and there on my bases. These BCs are doing fantastic, though. He's definitely running a little bit low on money, I would say. My supply is also very low, though. And that's what's, what's the most worrying thing here. Let's see. Let's try to CC over there. If he runs into this, we'll kill a few more Thors. Remember that Thors are obviously a lot more expensive than Liberators, so if we trade evenly, that's going to be a pretty good trade for me. Let's try to get a few more turrets up here. Come on, walk into the Liberators. I know you want to. Should, can I go for a crazy maneuver? This is pretty insane what I'm doing here, to be fair. I'm just trying to bait him into like a somewhat unfortunate fight. I don't even want to destroy him. I just Yeah, exactly. There we go. That's a few Thors that are going to go down. This one, maybe another one. Cyclo went down as well. Yeah, that was a really good trade for us, for example. I also think we do still have more money than him. Just going to be able to take this base now. Let's see. Um, I do. Oh, this gas was unsaturated. I guess that could have been a little bit of the problem. I mean, in general, my... Comp oh, he does have a lot of Thors. In general, my composition requires, you know, so much freaking gas that it's not crazy that I just don't have gas see. YOLO? I mean, I have so much money anyway. You guys must love this move. I know you guys love this move. <laughs> I actually gotta steal a little bit of, of his money. This is sick. Let's go. That's a lot of money stolen right there. Not bad at all. Uh, and yeah, it's not really costing me anything. It's just energy, which I have enough of, quite frankly. I'm just gonna be able to return them to my base and then start mining here. I have nine liberators plus these three. At the, at the moment, we're on even basis. That does worry me a little bit, because I feel like the Thors are going to be a little bit more efficient than my units. And I can't really allow him to have that extra base. 
Um, so what am I going to do? But I do know he F2, so I can probably siege this again. Maybe that is the play. Try to deny that base for a little bit. And then try to kill it later on. I do have... A f oh, I do actually have a crap ton of liberators. Can I siege that one barely on the edge? Probably, right? See, I need to know where his Thor army is. That's the most important. What is his army like? He has a few Vikings, but not that many. Uh, oh no, I have to do my lib on accident. I'm actually sweating from this game, by the way. This is an in incredible game. Oh, that freaking... That hurts. Okay. Oh, he did build a turret there. Oh, can we escape? Barely. That's nice. Okay. Uh, I did siege a little bit too far forward again, I believe. But I'm still doing pretty good. Okay. I need to get back here as soon as I can to defend my army. Okay. I got a few cyclones, I believe, with that. One cyclone. Okay. Good enough. I need to be really careful. If I lose this army once, I think I'm I'm done and dusted for. Uh, or I'm done for, I should say. So I need to be super careful. Uh, where am I rallying these? I should really be rallying this at home instead. Like in a proper place at least. Let's go. You guys can go forward. I'm going to send the liberators back. You can always uh, disable my liberators with the matrixes. That's a big problem. Let's see. I'm just going to go forward with this little squad here. It looks like a little bit of a, of a silly squad, but... I think it could actually be decent. Let's see if I can actually get a little bit of connections there. Maybe with that one. I don't know what's going on here. He doesn't really have a lot of units, so... Oh, no. I'm seizing them too far forward again, I believe. Um, I'm trying my best to get a bit to the corner, but it's pretty difficult. I have to admit. Maybe now I actually managed... Or not yet. Oh, he does have two Cyclones in the back. That is annoying, eh? Those two Cyclones right there. I mean, I killed a lot of his Thors already. It's not bad. He's losing a few of his units too many. Hmm. What should I be going for now? You see, he doesn't have income anymore. I think I need to spend my money a little bit more wisely. Um, wait, did I kill another unit there? That would be pretty sick if I did. I mean, these BCs... I, like, he pretty much has no economy. This is his last base. Let me try to fly these out. Maybe if, if I seize these in a good location, I could kill another Thor with them. Uh, that is kind of the dream here. Oh, I don't have an eBay. Oh, that sucks. Okay. Let me kill this turret. There we go. The turret is actually doing really good for him. Let's see. He did kill that one, finally. Okay. I, you can't actually... Um, how do you say this? You shouldn't be able to kill a turret with Yamato. Because if you repair it in time... But the problem, the difference is I have two. Oh, that seems to be... Okay, he does have two cycles. I think it's like five Thors he has. Let me get out. Yes, we got out. And we got another Viking. Perfect. Now there's one more gas here. Um, dude, I have like no freaking units at all. My gases are all mined out, unfortunately. Oh, no. Please. Oh, I could have kept this alive. Maybe I can kill the Cyclone if I'm lucky. Yes, okay, perfect. That's at least something, right? Like, the Cyclones are very annoying. They really are. Um, I'm going to repair these by use of some mules. There we go. And I think I'm going to try to win it with Battlecruiser value. That's the plan, at least. I'm going to make another CC here. I still have a lot of minerals available. Let's see. Another stealing attempt. There we go. I mean, this. I think it's actually a pretty big deal that I can steal his minerals like that. Now, I'm going to try to be exactly in the middle here. That's the plan. Can I? I think so. Yeah, right. Oh, nice. We get some more money for free. That's great. I mean, I'm actually going to be up in income a in total a little bit just because of that. So definitely worth it, I want to say. Let's see. Is he coming here with his army? It kind of felt like it. Let's spam some more turrets. I think it could be useful. Mine this gas, of course. Denied a little bit of his money. Okay. I do need to get here with my other units. See, gonna, oh, I don't actually have money to steal. I was trying. I was gonna try to steal a little bit more. Oh, these liberators doing pretty good here. Please kill that one. Let's see. I have seven BCs. He has seven Thors, I think. I believe it is seven Thors. Okay, let's see. Oh, I think I killed a lot of his Thors, right? There we go. Okay, we're getting on top of the last few. And then I can just go back and repair these. And actually, I do have enough to kill the last horse as well, I believe. I have one more Yamato. Let's freaking go. Good micro with him. Can I save that one? Oh, I actually saved it. And he's going to lose the Thors for it. And that one is going to teleport back. We killed another Thor. 
Maybe you can do a little bit more money stealing as well. Man, this game is absolutely incredible, I have to say. Uh, let's resaturate that gas. Uh, oh, I do actually have... I'm not going to make this a planetary because that's a waste of gas, I think. I can't do that. But I am mining from his base now. And it's actually in his vision, by the way. The sensor tower can't see that. So, GG well played. There we go. Oh my goodness, what an absolute brawl of a TVT. That was incredible. Units loss is almost the same. I actually lost 2k more. And it seems like I have won mostly on the economic battle. I denied his base is a little bit better. I stole a little bit of money here. I actually stole money from this base, I believe, as well, which was his. So I guess, you know, didn't matter that much in the end because we killed the base. But we stole money, which was nice. Denied this base for a long time. And you can see in the money and the supplies, this was really close. 50 supply up. Both have no gas left. I obviously cannot make anything that requires gas. You can see here, it actually, you could think we're losing here, but the Yamatos, the decision to go to BCs has saved us. And this was another brilliant episode. I hope you guys enjoyed it very much, just as much as I did. Make sure to like the video, subscribe to the channel, and I'll see y'all for the next episode. Adios.